everyone. This is Dr. J, and we have another episode here for you today. Today, we will talk, we will be talking about, or I will be talking about, I don't know why I'm saying we, um, I will be talking about menopause and exercise. So before we start, I just want to let you know that this information is for educational purposes only. So if you have any questions about your health, please consult your primary care uh, physician. So now, Let's start off by defining what menopause is. Menopause is when periods stop, period. You see what I did there? You see? <laughs> but it means that you go 12 months without having any periods from your last period. That is what menopause is. Now, what is happening during this time? So during this time, the function of your ovaries diminishes and therefore estrogen secretion diminishes. And, and what else is occurring? Well, because of this reason, there are many effects that menopause can cause. So I'm gonna talk about some of them today. So the, one of the first effects that can happen is bone mineral loss, right? Because estrogen is important for bone remodeling and also um, providing content, mineral content for the bone. So, menopause can lead to that. So that's why it's important to exercise because exercise can help prevent falls, right? And falls lead to fractures. So you want to enhance the strength of your muscles to decrease falling and therefore fractures. The other effect that menopause can cause is that it can increase your risk for cardiovascular disease. And why is that? Because during menopause, it's a actually cumulative effect that happens. There's estrogen deficiency, there's the normal aging process, there may be risk factors for cardiovascular disease already present at that time, such as high blood pressure and cholesterol. So physical activity or exercise can help decrease those risk factors for developing cardiovascular disease, okay? Another effect that can happen is that it can, um, menopause can promote weight gain. And there are some studies that show that women who are physically active after menopause have lower body weight and also have sufficient lean uh, muscle mass. Now, now I'm gonna talk about some of the exercises that you would wanna do during menopause. So the first thing is cardiorespiratory exercises. So anything that um, increases your heart rate or creates an effort for you to breathe. So some examples of that would be walking or doing a group class. And the point of that is to, you want to be able to work all your, your um, major muscle groups. So in a Zuma class, you are definitely getting in and working all of those major muscle groups in your shoulders, in your, in your thighs, um, in your um, core. So you're, you're working so many major muscle groups. So you want to focus on those types of exercises. The next thing is you want to focus on resistance exercises. So this is anything that improves your strength. Okay. And in terms of uh, how many you should do, um, uh, how many strength building activities you should do, you should do it two to three days, two to four sets with eight to 12 reps. And an easy way to remember that is two to eight. So that's two to three days a week, um, two to four sets and eight to 12 repetitions. Okay. Uh, the next exercise that you want to focus on is, oh, and I just also want to mention this for resistance exercises. The pelvic floor strength decreases over time, um, especially during menopause. So you want to make sure that you're performing Kegel exercises one or more times a day to make sure that the, the strength of the pelvic floor is improved. And you want to do this to help prevent things like incontinence over time. And that can be a um, something that older women can experience is incontinence. So want to make sure you're doing those Kegel exercises um, to help prevent that. The next um, exercise you want to focus on is um, flexibility exercise or stretching exercises, because also over time that, you know, our muscles can become tighter. Um, so we want to make sure that we are 
stretching and you want to do that at least two to three days a week. And the next exercise is balance training. And this balance training, not only does it help with balance, but like I mentioned earlier, it could also help prevent falls and therefore decrease the risk of fractures. So exercises that can help with that are like Tai Chi or yoga. Um, and then you could get more advanced, but just to make this as simple as possible, um, Tai Chi or yoga are some examples of exercises that can help with balance, okay? All righty, well, that concludes this segment on menopause and exercise. I hope you found this so helpful. Let me know in the comments what other exercises that you um, want to know about or um, anything related to exercises, okay? All right, have a great day. Bye.